Welcome everyone to our channel again. Now we will return to the topic of being safe with snakes, since almost any snake, venomous or not, is capable of biting, depending on its condition or improper handling. In addition, snakes may stain you with an extract of their anal glands, which is definitely not a scent you want to enjoy, and is extremely smelly and difficult to wash off. And of course, large boss or pythons can seriously squeeze uh, or strangle you. So, for another example today, let's look at the garden tree boa or Amazon tree boa, Corallus hotulanus in Leti. This is the most common inhabitant of the tropical forests of South America, medium-sized, up to 2 meters in length. This species is varied in color. But now we are not talking about color. We will look at the appearance itself later in one of the issues of the snaking show. Let's try to communicate with a garden tree boa in our arms. It must be said right away that although boas are non-venomous, they are always ready to greet you with one and a half hundred teeth, long, sharp and thin. These teeth are located in the mouth in several rows. Here in my hands is one of the garden tree boars, the male, born in captivity. He seems to be peaceful and calm, but he hasn't eaten for two weeks. When a snake is hungry, it can attack your hands or face. Oh, God, not the face, really. Without any warning, without preliminary postures or sounds, with my friend here being not an exception. He simply mistakes everything that moves in close proximity to him as food. And here is the result. A bite and blood on the hand. The bite from a small boy usually heals quite quickly, since the teeth are thin and sharp. But you still to be careful about possible inflammation or allergies.